Now, the bodies of a woman, her son, and a man were today discovered in a house located at the government staff quarters along Jogo Road. Mystery still surrounds the death of Charity Kemboi, an officer at the Registrar of Persons office in Madare, her eight-year-old son, Alan Kipnyatich, and the man identified as Kevin. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, police believe there was an assailant, perhaps well known to the victims, in the one-bedroom house. At phase two of government quarters houses along Jugorod, Nairobi, residents are still absorbing the shock of waking up to their neighbors' three bodies. The bodies of Charity Kemboi, an officer working with the Registrar of Persons Department, her son Alan keeping a teach, and a man identified only as Kevin, were carried from their one-bedroom apartment after a day-long analysis by detectives. Residents who saw the bodies explaining their shock. Hasa tukienda kutoka tukienda tukienda kufungua choo tukakuta pia kuna mwanaume hapa ndani na amefungwa na kamba The neighbors also reported a sitting room in disarray raising the possibility of a struggle before death Tukakuta kila kitu iko chini Tukola ni kama kulikuwa na mfurugano kwa nyumba Charity and her son's body appeared unscathed from the physical examination Kevin's body was discovered in the toilet in a sitting position. His hands and legs were tied together using a laptop charger cable. Detectives believe the tight knots on the cables indicate assailants who orchestrated the murders. Neighbors, most of whom are civil servants and know each other well, say the last time they saw Charity and her son was Sunday when they walked back to the house from church. Kevin was reportedly seen on Monday. The bodies were taken to Chiromo Mochari as detectives pieced together evidence to crack the case. Homicide detectives from the DCI headquarters are expected to revisit the scene Wednesday. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.